This lesson is about word problems involving sets using Venn diagram and has three circles. So the given problem is there were 100 grade 7 students interviewed about their favorite subjects. The results showed that 28 liked science, 31 liked English, 42 liked math, 9 liked both science and English, 10 liked both science and mathematics, 6 liked both English and mathematics, and 4 liked all 3 subjects. So we are going to represent this using Venn diagram. And how are we going to do that? Well, first, we must draw the Venn diagram. We're going to use the rectangle in order to represent the universal set. Then, we're going to use circles. Why there are three circles? Because it will represent the three subjects, which are English, science, and math. So, when the circle is on this portion, it means the students like English. When it's on this portion, the students like science. And when it's on this portion, the students like math. Now, how are we going to use the given? So from here, we are going to start from the bottom in which four like all three subjects means to say among 100 students four of them like english science and math that is why we are going to write our answer in here it is the intersection of the three subjects that's why we have four next we are looking for the students who like both English and mathematics. As you observe, the number given in here is 6. Now, where are we going to write it? So, we are going to write that on this portion because these are the number of students who like English and mathematics. So, again, the given is 6. But since we already have 4 in here, 6 minus 4, the answer will be 2. Next one. We're going to look for the students who like both science and mathematics. So let's take a look at the portion of science and mathematics. So it's in here. Since that is the intersection, we are going to write our answer there. But what will be the answer? Since we already have 4 in here, and 10 like both science and mathematics, 10 minus 4 is 6. In here, 9 like both science and English. So let us locate. So this is where... The students like science and English. So since that is our intersection, we're going to subtract 9 by 4. Since we already have 4 as the intersection of the three subjects. So from there, 9 minus 4 is 5. Next one. 42 students like math. So this is the portion where the students like math. However, we already have 2, 4, and 6. Now what are we going to write? So we're going to subtract 2, 4, and 6 from 42. And 42 minus 2, 40. Minus 4, 36. Minus 6, therefore the answer is 30. Next. 
the students who like English. So this is the portion of the students who like English. Since the given is 31 like English, we're going to subtract 5, 4, and 2. So this is where we are going to write our answer. 31 minus 2, we have 29. Minus 4, we have 25. Minus 5, we have 20. So 20 students in here. Next one. 28 like science. So this is the portion of science. Now, as you observe, there's already 5, 4, and 6. So this is where we are going to write our answer. But we need to subtract it first. 28 minus 5, we have 23. Minus 4, we have 19. Minus 6, the answer is 13. So as you observe, we already completed our Venn diagram. But this is not yet done because we, need, we still need to check if the total of this is 100. And how are we going to do that? Since there are 100 students who were interviewed, we must add everything. So 20 plus 5 plus 13 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 30 is equivalent to 80. Now observe carefully, only 80 students responded to the interview that they like English, science, and math. But remember that there are 100 students interviewed. Now what are we going to do? So we are going to subtract 80 from 100. So 100 minus 80 is 20. Now where are we going to write that 20? So we're going to write 20 inside the universal set. As you observe, it is not on the circles, but, is, but it is inside the universal set because it is part of the students who were interviewed. And that's all. I hope you learned. Thank you.